what it is. It's week 10, baby. Bye weeks. More losses. Getting close to playoff time. Shut ears. It's Coburn's call outs. I think I'm gonna have to start recording these in the evening. It is getting difficult to do them in the morning. Hey, we got a good week. Uh, Kramer is our biggest loser from last week. Uh, an admiral job as always, only setting the bar high for the rest of you to uh, to do your call out. So who will it be? I have um, Duckworth. So based on my team, um, losing McCaffrey, I have I have literally no running backs. I have, uh, but but that's fine. You know, this season isn't for me. I didn't pick this season to win. Squirrel Craig wiped the floor with me. Uh, impressive. Uh, I did terribly, but, you know, you did better than expected, so good job there. Uh, Richards, you know, Chris's are, Chris's are doing good. Well, two of the three. Uh, so Richards still in the lead, despite the fact everyone talking about Duckworth trading away his soul. Why are you doing so well, Richards? Why? Congrats. It's that wedding luck. Anyway. Yeah, he beats Sinkuski. He drops down to 7th. I know that I don't say your name right, but it's been so long that I just, I don't think I can change it. Is that fair? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So yeah, Zach lost. John, finally getting back on the win. Bad week for Steel Reserve. Uh, beating Caleb, who was um, certainly looking at um, being the top dog in... The old steel reserve, but couldn't pull it off. Too bad. Shame, shame. We'll talk about Kramer and Eli in a second. Matt with the uh, surprising win over Duckworth, you know? Like I said, we've all been talking about Duckworth, but Matt, he is not going away. Actually, nobody in steel reserve is um, going away. They're still looking at some playoff spots impressively. Oh, see, getting too old for this. We'll see. We'll see. And uh, despite having the lowest score... Uh, I'm still not in last place, thanks to Evan, who should get an award for most trades, right? I mean, how much has he been trading? Have, has anyone not gotten a trade for, at least request from Evan, okay? Uh, but, you know, that's how we play the game. That's why we do this. We don't do it to sit at home, be a bunch of bums, sucking and crying and, you know, whatever stuff. Um, yeah, big loss, big loss. Uh, you know, despite sitting 9 and 10 in the current standings, Eli... Wipe the floor with Mr. Blonde Kramer, um, who, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, you know, I'm I'm worse than you now, but I just don't know how. This is your third wheel. John's had two. I've had one. Coleman, now that you're back, you had one, so if you want to send that in to me for some redemption, feel free. I can do a midweek one. Never hurts the soul. Uh, but Kramer, Kramer got uh, annihilated, scoring 84 points, despite an impressive uh, performance from Drew Brees. Um, and really, just just mediocrity all the way down, which uh, in fantasy football, you got to have somebody that stands out, or else you're going to end up with the, wins, the wheel spin. So here it is, the wheel of misfortune, Chris Kramer, number three. I see what you did there. Hey there, Fantasy Football League. It's me again. It's my... Uh third embarrassing defeat of the season and I'm still trying to one up my initial one. Um, so in honor of my dumpster fire of a team, I have found the biggest dumpster I could and I'm going to do my punishment of chugging the Smirnoff ice in that dumpster. You're a bitch! 
Mm. So some favorite parts of that. In a giant dumpster, right? Literally sitting in a giant dumpster. Throws his tr trash on the ground and litters. His bottle cap. Who saw that, right? Littered right away. Second, throws his bottle into the metal dumpster. With, I believe, as much force as Kramer could exert. I did not hear it break. So. Good wheel spin. Decent chug. Sorry about being a bitch. Nicely done. Who will get it this week? It's looking good for me. Looking good for me. Uh, let's go through the standings. Uh, Schlafly is dominating in some capacities. First and second with Richards and Duckworth. Oh, and third with Coleman. Um, and then Kramer. You know. Uh, it's good that we don't have two people in a division that are awful. We spread out the awfulness all the way across the bottom. But the top is clearly Schlafly. With one seven and two and two six and threes, damn. Looks like they're gonna have uh, most of the wild cards there, right? We do six. Woo, woo. Looks like the steel reserve people better start figuring it out. Caleb is currently atop, but they're all five and four, five seven and eight with me in eleventh. And bad, but that's okay. Interestingly, interestingly, oh, somebody picked up Curtis Samuel that I just dropped because of my running back situation. Three running backs out. One on IR. I can't tell you how this is, this is. Christian McCaffrey comes back, scores 30 points against my team, the Chiefs. Dead. Uh, Skrittle Craig in fourth, John in sixth. Eli in ninth, kind of a surprise there. Thought you would be doing better. Maybe you'll have a few wins here after the defeat of Kramer. Um, Kramer, who, and then Evan, uh, one and eight, bud. That's only one win. And you played me. You beat me, I'm pretty sure. I'm your only win. Who's that more embarrassing for? I don't know. Matchups this week. As I said, I got Duckworth. I'm going to lose. No big deal. Mm. Lucky Mr. Caleb has Evan, who's in last place. So, a couple of wins there. I think you know where my votes go on those two guys. Um, John, two wheel spins. Kramer, three wheel spins playing each other. It'd be interesting if uh, Kramer could, could give John the wheel spin. Tie out the wheel spins. Which is really why we care about fantasy football, right? Win, lose, nobody cares who gets the wheel spin. That's why we're here. Uh, Craig already had an impressive Thursday. Is playing Matt. Will Matt be able to come back? Yeah, it's possible. And then uh, Richards is playing Eli. Um, so it looks impressive. I don't, I don't know much about fantasy football, but he looks good. Hey, kind of a boring week, guys. Sunday is not the same without the Chiefs, and if you think differently, you're wrong. So I recommend watching the uh, rain-soaked Tur Turkish Grand Prix. They, they claim a new world champion this week. Kind of exciting, you know. Um, already already got the constructors, so. Hey, you know what, guys? Keep it up. I, I, I think someone with more brains than me needs to do a rules call-out where you explain when the trade deadline is. Some other things that are important to know before we get into playoff season. Just six weeks away. Man, can you believe it? Hey, the league counts. We're going into this no matter what, so time to put up or shut up, you know? That's what I'm saying. So, good boy. <laughs> Hold on. Mm. Good luck to you boys. May the forks be with you. Uh, this has been Coburn's College. It's been fun. It's been a weird angle, you know? Uh, we'll see, stay tuned for the wheel spin after Monday. We'll see you then. See you next week. Boy.